John Fulbright descended on the nation's music scene in 2012 with his Grammy-nominated album From the Ground Up, exalted by music media and songwriting peers for lyrics like these in Oh God. Six long days, seventh day he rested, said there's one sure way. Humans can be best to give them wine and song. I start trying to write these songs from different characters' point of views, walking a mile in their shoes. I decided I was just going to go straight to the top and try to write a song from God's point of view. Oh, but that's not all. I've got me a flame and it's a swinger's ball. If you don't know my name, or oh, will you think it's a hot down there in July? I've got a means in the kitchen to fry. A native of Bearden, a rural community about 10 miles south of Okima, John was born April 23, 1988 and reared on an 80-acre farm. He started playing piano at age five and took lessons until age nine. While attending Okima High School, he debuted at the Woody Guthrie Folk Festival, which would have a major impact on his career path as a singer, songwriter, and folk music performer. Sing my praise, sing my name forever. I am God above, Lord God Almighty, Mama. There's a festival in Okima called the Woody Guthrie Festival, and I... Uh, <laughs> When I turned about 16, I was allowed to go, and I went and found out all about playing music with other people, three-chord songs, and that really opened my eyes. It really got me into folk music, because you could just, you didn't have to rehearse, you know? You could just jump in. And... In 2008, Fulbright toured and recorded with Red Dirt Luminary Mike McClure, appearing on McClure's 08 release, Did 7. Soon after, John began doing solo gigs, notably at the venue for singer-songwriters in Oklahoma, The Blue Door in Oklahoma City, owned by Greg Johnson, who became Fulbright's manager. Throughout John's climb to national prominence, country music endured as a core musical reference point. Country music is kind of my therapy, it's what I grew up on. And so, because of that, about every six months or so, I have to write a country song just to get some stuff out. Tell me, where's it go in the wind? Don't know where it ought to blow. Tell me, what's in store for the mind in the body? Until I could say what I wanted to say on the piano, um, you know, I kind of figured out that it was a language pretty quickly and that I had complete control over that language. And it was mine. And uh, to this day, if, if I start feeling like I'm losing something, all I, have to, all I have to do is just remember that, you know, that, you know, I, I can picture being six years old, sitting at a piano, and figuring it out, you know, just go right back to that place, and that's all it takes. Fulbright released his first album, Live at the Blue Door, in 2009 and began playing major music festivals as a feature performer, generating instant attention from American roots music fans, music journalists, and the music industry. After releasing his second album, From the Ground Up, written largely about the farmhouse in which he was raised, Fulbright received 2012 acclaim from Rolling Stone, the LA Times, the New York Times, the Times of London, the Boston Globe, Country Music Television, and National Public Radio. A top 10 Billboard folk album, From the Ground Up, garnered major music industry recognition with a 2013 Grammy nomination for Best Americana Album, and earned John the prestigious 2012 Harold Adamson Lyric Award from the American Society of Composers and Publishers. I didn't know about songs being like uh, vehicles for really important things. I thought they were just funny little stuff, you know. I got into like Towns, Van Zant, and uh, Mickey Newberry and guys like that and decided that this was actually a very, this was something to take very seriously. It's feeling good for the very first time. I feel all right for the very first time. In 2013, the Americana Music Association nominated John as the Emerging Artist of the Year. And in 2014, he released his third album, Songs, receiving instant praise from the Los Angeles Times, the Wall Street Journal, and NPR. Also in 2014, as a result of his widely recognized and highly elevated musicianship, shimmering lyrics, and dynamic songwriting, the Oklahoma Music Hall of Fame proudly presented John Fulbright with its 2014 Rising Star Award.
no sidewalks to skateboard on. It's just like either play football or play the piano, and I decided to play the piano. 